Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys who are new, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn your post notification bell on so you can get my new videos. My name is Crystal and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I take care of my hair underneath my wig installments, how I keep it hydrated, how I keep it um, healthy, and how I grow my hair underneath my wig so stay tuned first when i wash my hair i use my black vanilla carol's daughter shampoo i use it about two to three times a week um and then i rinse it twice in the shower i use my hydrating conditioner about 15 minutes to co-wash my hair and then i go in with the leave-in conditioning from tjin the honey miracle hair mask and I use this every time I use shampoo. I leave that in for about an hour. Normally when I come out the shower, I usually use my Grace & Company hair towel, the microfiber towel to soak up the water out of my hair. Once I do that, I take it off and this is normally how my hair looks once I take it out. Um, the microfiber towel does a good job of leaving moisture in my hair while still soaking up all the excess water. First, I'm gonna be using this Ojean Rare Blend Oil. I'm going to leave the information for it down below for you guys who are interested in getting this oil. It's really good for moisturizing your hair and just kind of like just keeps the moisture inside of your hair really really well and it's a lightweight oil so it doesn't weigh it down. So now I'm just going to go in with the heat protectant spray and I'm going to spray this all over my hair because I'm going to use my blow dryer to blow my hair out in order for me to put it in my cornrows. So when I part my hair in sections, I usually do it in four, and I start in the front, and I take my Denman brush, and I use my blow dryer on medium heat, not too hot. As you guys can see, this is the struggle. I have like such a tender head, and it always hurts so bad when I blow dry my hair, but I gotta get it done so this is what I gotta go through every time guys I hate doing this I hate doing this so much but I try to do it as straight as I can so that when I put the cornrows in my hair it's easy it's not tangled and it just helps me go through it really a, a lot faster than if it was curly so once I do that I'm just going to finish blowing out the front as much as I can. And once I blow out the front, I'm just going to go and start to corn row my hair. This is how my hair looks after I blow it out. So I use a regular comb and I make sure that the parts as straight as possible. I go back in with my Ojan oil and I do and I put some on every part that I'm going to corn roll just to add just that extra moisture to make sure that it's locked in and it's not going nowhere. I like to add some as I'm braiding through the hair as well so that it's just well moisturized and no part of my hair is missing oil. And especially at the ends of my hair, I like to make sure I rub that oil on the ends of my hair to keep to maintain moisture in my ends because that's very, very important to seal your ends it is extremely important for my natural girls out there. So next, once I finish cornrowing my hair into some nice, neat cornrows, I did about 10 of them. I'm going to let you guys in on the secret of how I keep my hair long and moisturized under my wigs. So guys, this is the Tropic Isle Living Castor Oil, Jamaican Black Castor Oil. This is the container I put it in, but listen guys, let me tell you something. This castor oil has grown my hair. My hair is about 16, 14 to 16 inches in length right now. And I cut my hair three years ago. 
so just imagine like my hair has grown so much and i've been doing a lot of protective styling and this is what i do i do it every single night every single night i put it on i put it in my hair i moisturize and i massage it into my head i use a satin bonnet on my hair at night and i use a scarf just to go over it's another satin scarf and this just helps to lock in the moisture in my hair and it it helps your hair to maintain um strength and just shine and and health so i strongly encourage you guys to do this every night do not do not do not do not wear your wigs to sleep that is unhealthy for your hair please make sure to subscribe please make sure to turn your not notifications on and i will see you guys in my next video i hope you guys enjoyed this video i made it short and quick and simple and i will see you guys in my next one